Hello, welcome to my channel if you are new here and if you are not new, welcome back. I'm happy to have you. So today I'm going to be doing a quick makeup look using all products that I have been really enjoying for my acne prone skin and also for hyperpigmentation or acne scarring. If you also have acne prone skin or have hyperpigmentation or acne scars, maybe you guys will find this video helpful. I hope you do. I am currently on vacation, so these are also all products that I brought with me on vacation and just felt like I wanted to test out more. And some of them are also just favorites that I've been using for quite a while. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. If you guys are new here and like beauty, skincare, and even acne related content, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so I've got you all zoomed in so you guys can see my skin well. Obviously, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation or acne scarring. Technically, it's not scarring. I guess hyperpigmentation is kind of a form of scarring, but scarring is normally technically when there are like um, dips or like indentations. Um, I actually just have leftover pigmentation, which is not fun at all. Really any type of scarring is not fun. Um, so all of this, all of this, and some up here are leftover marks. So I know it probably looks like I have a lot of acne going on, but I have been so grateful to have cleared a lot of that up. Um, I'd say 95% cleared up, even though it probably doesn't look like it. Um, I just have a couple active blemishes here. Those ones are it. Everything else is leftover hyperpigmentation. But anyway, sorry, I went on a little rant there. Just wanted to let you guys know what's on my face. But the first thing that I like to do is, of course, apply a sunscreen. I kind of alternate between sunscreens. I'll either use the Hero Cosmetics Force Shield Super Light Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Now this one is actually formulated specifically with acne prone skin in mind. I have been using this for a while now, though it is. Um, it did just recently launch a little while ago. I was fortunate enough to test it out for a little bit before it was launched. They did kindly send this to me. Um, of course, as always, opinions are always my own, but I have been loving this. This is so good for acne prone skin. So anyway, I alternate between this one. I also really like the Elta MD sunscreen. This is their UV Elements. Um, broad Spectrum SPF 44. This is a tinted sunscreen. I really, really like this one as well. And then another sunscreen that I alternate with sometimes is the Suntegrity Impeccable Skin Sunscreen. I've done a whole video about this. It's kind of like a dupe for the It Cosmetic CZ Cream. It's so good. Has some really nice coverage. Um, but for today, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the Force Shield Sunscreen from Hero Cosmetics. This one has a slight tint to it. So I'll just take like two pumps, maybe more. Um, normally I do like two pumps and then I might need a little bit more for my forehead. And then of course I do want to get my neck as well. So I'm gonna add some more for my neck just to make sure I have enough. And then I'm just gonna take another like two pumps for my neck and decollete. So that's that and it's a super moisturizing lightweight sunscreen it honestly just feels like a comfortable moisturizer it doesn't feel sticky or heavy anything like that i'm just gonna um, bring this up a little bit because it's cutting off a little bit of my face um, but it's a really really lightweight sunscreen feels so so nice on the skin it has a barely there green tint i don't know if you guys could tell from I don't know if I really showed you, but as you can see, it has like a little bit of a green tint to it, which is supposed to help with like minimizing redness. I, d I will say, I don't think it like minimizes a whole lot of redness, um, but I mean, I do have a lot of pigmentation to cover up. So, I mean, it's not gonna like cover up the pigmentation. Um, but anyway, it's just a barely there green tint and I really, really like this. It doesn't cause me to break out. It's great. The next thing that I will do when I am not using a tinted sunscreen is I will use some type of base product. So for today, I'm gonna use the Oxygenating Foundation. This is in the shade beige. So I just apply like two pumps of this. And this one is kind of a very like buildable type of, um, not sunscreen. Although actually I believe this does kind of have sunscreen in here, but this is a very buildable foundation. But I, I don't know, I don't think this can really be a full coverage. I guess it kind of depends on the person and what they have to cover up. But the thing that's so great about this even though, look, that's some really nice coverage, um, is it looks so skin-like. That's why I am a huge, huge fan of this. It looks so skin-like. 
and it feels lightweight on the skin. I will say it kind of smells like paint, but I mean, I just love how this looks on the skin. Um, and as you can see, like this, just with one application, although I did kind of apply a lot, um, it has given some pretty decent coverage and you could definitely build this up if you want. But what I'll just do is I will use just one layer of this and then I will go in with the concealer to kind of spot conceal any of the other areas rather than building up a foundation everywhere. Um, just because I feel like doing just a concealer in certain areas um, prevents it from looking cakey possibly because sometimes when you apply like several layers of a foundation it can look cakey. I really don't have that issue with this one though um, but I just like to not apply too many layers of foundation. So then a concealer that I absolutely love 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 and I have been using for a long long time is the Fit Glow Beauty um, Conceal Plus. This is a favorite of mine. I have this in the shade C3. This is such a good full coverage concealer so if you do have acne prone skin and hyperpigmentation and you want a concealer that is going to give you some good coverage then this is a great one and I definitely recommend that you check it out. It is so so good and I do not personally think that it causes me to break out so that's obviously important when you have acne prone skin. I don't think that it makes me break out and I totally meant to dampen my sponge but I didn't so Anyway, I'm just gonna blend this in with my fingers first and then I'll go in with a sponge. But like, look at that. That is such good coverage. It does such a good job at covering up any acne scars or hyperpigmentation that you might have. And it also, even though it is full coverage, it doesn't look heavy. Like it doesn't look like you have a large amount of makeup on. I mean, if you look close, like you can see makeup, but it also looks skin-like. Hopefully you guys can like kind of get what I'm what I'm saying. It's like it still looks skin-like. It doesn't look cakey or like patchy or dry, which is really, really nice. So then I'm just going in with this Real Technique sponge, going over it all just to make sure it's really nicely blended. And then of course blend like the foundation down the neck so it's even. Next, I'm gonna use the Ilia Beauty True Skin Serum Concealer. I have this in the shade SC 1.75 Burdock. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this under the eyes. I've been liking this shade under the eyes because it is a little bit brightening. I haven't really been using this one to spot conceal, but it's a really nice like under eye concealer. Though you could totally use it for spot concealing too, but I find that this is like a medium kind of coverage. Now there is the base, you guys can see that a lot of that hyperpigmentation is now covered up so we have a pretty nice base. I really like this combination, I think that it works really well, it looks really nice on the skin, it looks pretty natural, um, and it also gives like a nice glow, um, which I really like. I don't really like a super like dry finish foundation or base, um, I like something that has a little bit of a glow. Um, but yeah, so then um, if I do want to kind of set my face, a awesome product that I've been really enjoying is from Suntegrity. This is actually a powder sunscreen. So this is the Suntegrity Pressed Mineral Powder Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This has zinc oxide 25%. Because it is a powder sunscreen, you just apply it like you would a powder makeup, like a setting powder. So I kind of use this to set my face sometimes, or if I just want to reapply sunscreen throughout the day without having to use a liquid sunscreen, this is great. Um, it's great to use on top of makeup, because obviously if you have makeup on, it's, I mean, it's hard to reapply sunscreen to the face when you have makeup on, because it's just gonna kind of mess up the makeup. So that is really nice. I really, really enjoy that. So, so good, I definitely recommend that. So then I'm going to warm up the face and a bronzer that I've been absolutely loving is by Well People. It is their Bio Base Baked Bronzer. This is in the shade Natural Tan. So I'm just gonna use this to kind of bronze up my face, warm up my face. And I'm also gonna apply this for kind of like eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply it to the crease. And it is so, so pretty to the jawline, a little on the neck. The color of this is so pretty. Just gives such a pretty sun-kissed look. I'm gonna take the same bronzer and I'm going to apply this to the crease. 
a nice like transition shade. I'm just kind of also tapping it onto the lid. Mostly concentrating it in the crease, but just putting a little on the lid as well. Then I'm gonna use the Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadow in the shade Globe. I love this, this is so good for a quick makeup look. Normally I'll honestly just do one swipe of this and then blend it in with my finger. Just did a little more, because why not? Um, but yeah, one swipe is honestly enough. And this is just so pretty. It puts an eye look together so quickly, so easily. So, so pretty. And I love this shade for the summer and honestly all year round. It's just such a nice, nice shade. Definitely my favorite shade out of all the um, Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadows. It's so gorgeous. So then for blush, I have been using the Beauty Counter um, Satin Powder Blush in the shade Nectar. This honestly kind of reminds me of the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm such a name I don't know why they named it that but anyway um, so I've been using this blush just such a pretty pretty shade I just brought this blush on vacation with me I hadn't been using it honestly um, it's so pretty though I just kind of forgot about it um, so I brought it on vacation so that I would actually start using it and I have been really really enjoying it for eyebrows I'm gonna use the PYT eyebrow pencil this is their POV brow pencil and I have this in the shade Blonde. I believe that is the shade name, shade name for this. The name's kind of rubbed off, so I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure the shade is Blonde. It's like a really nice taupey type of shade. If you normally go for a taupe type of eye, um, like eyebrow pencil, then I think the shade would work really well for you. Another eyebrow product that I've been using a lot recently is the Merit Beauty Brow Pomade. This is really, really nice. This is in the shade Blonde. It's so, so good. I really enjoy this. It's great for a quick eyebrow type of look. Um, it's just like a brow gel type of product. I really, really like it. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. This is the Plume Eyelash Curler. I really like this eyelash curler. Um, definitely a good one. Look how well that works. So honestly, I used to always just use the e.l.f. eyelash curler and that worked totally fine as well. But this one is really nice. The mascara that I have been using recently is the Fit Glow Beauty Mascara. They actually just recently redid the wand a little bit. This is now their, uh, let's see. So this is their Good Lash Plus Mascara. Okay, so it actually has a different name. So Good Lash Plus, Plus Mascara. So I need to check on this. I am currently on vacation, so I do not have internet connection all the time. Um, at the house that I'm at, I do not have internet connection all the time to check this. But their original mascara is called their Vegan Mascara. And this is called their Good Lash Plus Mascara. So that makes me wonder if they still are selling their other version. I hope that they are because I actually do like the other version better, I think. Um, I've been testing this one out for a few weeks and I do think that I like the Vegan Lash Mascara better, but I mean, I still like this one too. So here is what this wand looks like if it'll focus. So it has like two different sides. So it says a three in one vegan mascara amplifies lash volume and length while nourishing lashes with powerful botanical extracts and plant protein to promote lash health. The multitasking mascara slash serum slash conditioner enhances the look of blushes on a day-to-day -day basis, plus provides vitamins and antioxidants to help improve the look, thickness, density, and fullness. Frail and brittle lashes are strengthened and protected by organic emulsive emulsion, which reduces breakage and leaves lashes looking rich and full. So it's called their new Sky High Lift Plus Curl Brush. So that's kind of supposed to help with lifting and curling. Mm -hmm. All right, 
next, then a fun highlighter that I've been using. This is from Ritual Defi. This is their Metamorphic Highlighter. This is in the shade High Priestess. This is a really, really fun shade. It kind of has like that like galactic shift to it, I want to say. But it has like this really fun like pinky, purpley shift. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so fun, so pretty. Kind of gives you like those unicorn vibes or galactic vibes i want to say um so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to the tops of the cheekbones so hopefully you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about where it has like that like purpley pinky shift but it's so so pretty and it blends into the skin really really nicely so i've just been applying this to the tops of the cheekbones sometimes i apply it to the uh, brow bone um, and i also apply some to the tip of the nose Maybe a little on the cupid's bow, but this is so pretty and so fun. So then for the lips, I have been using the Kosas lipstick. This is their weightless lip color in the shade Rosewater. Or I have also been using the Henne Organics um, Tinted Lip Balm, their luxury tinted lip balm in the shade Sunset, or no, Sunlit, which is one of their new shades. It's a really pretty everyday pink shade. That one is great for like a, just like a tinted lip balm, but this one, you know, this lipstick does have more pigment. So if you want more pigment, I've been going for this one. So today I'm just gonna use this one. And then lastly, to set my face, I have been using the Ilia Beauty Blue Light Filter. I have a mini size of this, and as you can see, I've actually almost used it up. I've been really, really enjoying this. This is a Protect Plus Set Mist. So it has that blue light filter, and then it's also supposed to help to set the makeup. I definitely wanna get a full size of this. I feel like this does a great job at helping my makeup last longer. I've actually definitely noticed that, that it really does seem to help my makeup to last longer. All right, so this is the completed look. If you guys are interested in trying any of the products that I used in today's video, I will have everything listed and linked in the description box below. And if you guys do have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you guys have tried any of these makeup products, let me know. I'd love to know which ones are your favorites, maybe some of these that haven't worked for you. Also, let me know what some of your favorite makeup products are for summer makeup or for acne prone skin or acne scarring or hyperpigmentation. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys are new here and you wanna see more content from me, I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye guys.